guys welcome back to another vlog i feel like it's been a while since i just like turned on the camera and took you guys throughout like a week in my life but kia and i are getting a dog it's gonna be our first dog together and we're really excited so of course you already know i had to again turn on the vlog and record everything about to hop out the door and yeah this is my outfit today just a nice little pop of color with a blazer oversized you know the vibes shirt go-to pants nice little watch action and then we just got some sneakers just keep it more casual and then of course hat on the top so yeah i'll run you guys through this week and stay tuned because we got a little doggo happening and we're really excited to or i'm really excited to show you guys the dog so let's get into this one. i just gotta let you know this girl i know i fucked up stay focused and for the long run and you know this playing how to get her because i know this hey and she done with the fake shit keep that energy don't let anyone go and waste it face it fell in love on a spaceship five star shawty and she up for the take and i love when you around me take me higher to the nose please take me higher when you hold me call me up if your body's feeling lonely i, I know what you're saying but girl don't keep me to go pick up the doggo we're super excited all of her stuff is in the back are you excited babe i'm so excited baby girl is on me the way you do the things you do the things you do got me feeling something and it ain't for nothing say your love is up for discussion you guys look at her she's bigger than me <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take her inside and get like get her cleaned up and then i'll show you guys some more she's the sweetest hard to get and come back Baby, this been messing with my mind Cause you've been persistent when you call me All up in the mansions, but she lonely You know I got it, got it When you are alone, be cautious Share your problems with me Baby, I'm a has been just thriving. She loves her crate. She knows how to use the potty pad on her own and she's just been adjusting really well overall. It's interesting because she came, obviously, you know, she was adopted. So she came from, you know, like that fostering situation and she was an outside dog. And so now, you know, Kia and I, we live in an apartment and we were kind of afraid that she wasn't gonna adjust well, but that hasn't been the case at all. She's been doing just fine. We've been giving her all the loves and all the cuddles. And, you know, we've been, again, training her to kind of get her acclimated and I'll definitely update you guys a little bit more about Mari later towards the end of this vlog and I'll let you guys see her more as well. But the big thing that I want to focus on today is my closet clean out. So every year around this time of the year, I like to just kind of, you know, go into my closet, go into my drawers and just pull out anything that I'm not necessarily, you know, gravitating towards, things that I'm not necessarily wearing and post them for sale. This time around, I'm going to be posting those set items on my Poshmark account. This video right here is sponsored by Poshmark. So much love to them for partnering with me on this vlog right here. I'm sure you guys already know what Poshmark is. They're amazing. You guys can find pretty much anything under the sun on Poshmark. You guys can find really affordable gems, anything from like H&M, Zara, all the way to really good designer gems like Balenciaga, Prada, all of that good stuff. Something really great about the designer items on Poshmark, anything over $500 comes with and goes through a standard authentication process courtesy of Poshmark. So it's great just so you guys can, you know, be sure that you're getting an actual, again, authentic, really nice designer piece. Everything that I post for sale will again be on my Poshmark account. It'll be the first link in my description box down below. So after you watch this video and if you're in the mood to shop and, you know, like treat yourself to some really good gems, because again, the things that I'm going to be posting, even though I'm getting rid of them, they are still really great, good gems that I feel like you know, even though I'm not gravitating towards, I feel like maybe you guys would enjoy it more than I did. So this is what I meant when I said my drawers are super dirty right now. Like, what is even going on? So again, I'm gonna organize these. Look at this. I can't even open it. I gotta sift through all of this. This bottom drawer is all right. It's for the most part, it just kind of needs a good fold. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then in the closet, it's fairly okay. I just need to kind of, again, like, you know, this whole, this whole, or 
like hanger situation is bothering me so i'm gonna go ahead and straighten that out and then there's a couple of things in here that again solid pieces but i'm just not really gravitating towards so i'll be posting a ton of things on my poshmark account so let's go ahead and get organizing So just an example of a couple of things that I'm going to be posting on my Poshmark. I have this Comme des Garçons shirt that I really love and I've worn a couple times, but I'm kind of weird and I like to leave the tags on my things, um, kind of just because. But as you can see, solid condition, only worn a couple times. But the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I already have a black one. Update on my Poshmark pile. Got some Uniqlo raw denim jeans, another pair of Zara pants that I really like, but I had two pairs, so I gotta get rid of one. And then these Zara cargo pants that I got last year and you guys went crazy for. Really nice, fairly new, oversized plaid overshirt. Got another overshirt from Zara, but it's suede. Really nice thrifted vintage denim jacket. Got an Aleeks hat right here. And then my off-white bag that I really, really love, but I just don't really wear as much anymore. So I feel like someone else can, you know, get more wear out of this than I did. So I don't want to show you guys the closet just yet because a couple of videos after this video will be my official apartment tour. And I'll show you guys the closet more in depth in that video, but you're going to have to stay tuned for that one. I'm going to go ahead and take the photos of those items, list them on my Poshmark account. So if any of you guys are interested in shopping some of my pre-loved and pre-used items from my personal closet, again, they are solid gems. You guys can check out the first link in my description box down below. And much love once again to Poshmark for sponsoring today's vlog. tell you her name her name is Mari yeah her name is Mari that way it is so basically Kia's in the shower right now so I figured I'd just kind of tell you guys so basically for those of you guys who have followed me for a long time you would know that my mom passed away when I was really young and her name was Marlene and then uh, Kia has a younger sister who also passed away and her name was Ariana and so we decided to put the two names together and we landed on Mari and that's what we named this dog over right here yeah that's your name she just came out of the shower. We're just letting her air dry right now. We brushed her out, um, but she was getting a little anxious and stuff. Rightfully so, you know, it's her first time. But um, yeah, she's a she's about five, four or five months, twenty pounds, and she's a Chow Chow Jindo mix. So she's a little Asian puppy, and the cutest one at that. Um, but yeah, she did really well in the shower. Like I said, she was kind of getting a little anxious when we were brushing her out. But yeah, we're really excited. We're just. Letting her chill. Kia's family's gonna come over later tonight for um, like dinner and stuff and meet Mari. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'll show you guys a couple more clips as the week goes on. You guys wanna see the funniest thing? Mari loves cheese. So I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> Look at her. Cheese <laughs> it. She knows. You want some cheese? You want some cheese? You want some cheese? <laughs> I'm gonna have Kia hold the camera and I'll show you guys. You want cheese? Say it. Say it. Let's see if it works. Say it. Does she know how to say it? Try to just like tap her booty down. You want cheese? Say it. Say it. <laughs> say it. We're working on it, okay? We're working on it. It's been a day. <laughs> okay, relax. I'll give you some cheese. Good girl. Oh, you missed it. You missed one right here. Nope. Right here, little piece right here. Yes. Good girl. That's all you're gonna get from me as of right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you some more off camera. <laughs> well look you guys. Turn your turn your booty around. Turn your booty around from the camera. She seriously loves cheese. We tried to give her normal training treats and peanut butter and she doesn't want to eat anything butter. besides the cheese. She thinks it's still on my hand. It's funny because we have another friend and their dog loves cheese too. And it's another Asian dog as well. So I think it has something to do with the Asian dogs loving cheese. 
All right, you guys, so it's later on in the evening. He is right there working. Dude, just go like this, just here. <laughs> She's cooking up dinner. It's the end of the work day, and we got an exciting delivery for Mari through Amazon. So I figured end the vlog this way and just show you guys a couple of cute things that we picked up for her. So the first thing that we picked up for her is this like to go water bottle. So you know, as soon as she gets her first vet checkup, we're gonna start taking her on walks and like going to the dog parks and stuff. And so this is what it looks like. So it's pretty cool. My cousin Mel has this for her dog. And you basically just fill this up with water and then you press this button and it releases the water right here so it's kind of like a little bowl and travel water bottle so that'll be really convenient for when we start taking her on walks and then the second thing that we picked up for her is an actual dog bed because right now in her crate we just have a really fluffy blanket and she seems to really like her crate and the blanket but i think you know having a nice proper dog bed is probably a bit more ideal so it says memory foam dog bed and if any of you guys are interested and you have dogs i'll be sure to leave these links in the description box down below just because i feel like now that i'm a parent or <laughs> or now that we're parents i feel like these things are they're like cool it's like a whole new world you know so again if you're into aesthetic stuff and you have pets and you want nice things just like how i want good things for my pet again i will leave these links down below and then look at this big look at this the little, the little bed is wrapped up like how our bed came in. Look at that. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh, she's gonna love that. So, turn this up. Ooh, that feels really nice. I like this. Oh yeah, so it is like our bed where when you let it out, it kind of unrolls and it gets fluffier. That'll be nice. Oh my god, look at the grippy pads on the dog bed cover. It's little paws. As I mentioned earlier in this vlog, Mari has been so good. I think as you guys can kind of see from the quick little clips that I put here and there, she's she's just chilling. She just, she likes her crate. She she literally just went potty on the pad. She's been good. So I'm, I'd be intrigued to see what she's going to be like when we go to the dog park and when she's like around other dogs and stuff. And when we start, you know, introducing her to friends and more family and stuff like that. So it should be good. All right, you guys. So that is going to be it for this vlog right here. Much love once again to Poshmark for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. If you guys want to shop all of like my pre-loved and pre-owned items, again, keep my Poshmark account. There will be some gems on there and they'll be priced really good as well. So again, first link in my description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You want to say bye, Maureen? Say bye. Say bye to those people. Say like and comment and subscribe. Can you do that? No? Okay, I think she wants dinner. Or she wants cheese probably. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.